Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to see what the vision encoder plate for the H2D really does. I looked at the website and over what they said and claimed that it does, and it, they just say it does something about accuracy and precision and injection uh, molded like prints or whatever. So in today's video, I thought it'd be cool if we did a couple of tests on it and um, see if we can see any discernible difference between how it came directly out of the box and after we do the um, calibration with the vision encoder plate. So in today's video, we'll print a couple of benches and I thought it'd be cool to print a couple of squares and to place those around the plate to um, check the precision of each of those squares as they move around the plate. So in today's video, we'll be doing a couple of those tests and I'm um, checking out the vision encoder plate. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are on Bamboo's website and we see this is the cheapest plate that they have at $105. Um, so it's got to really make a big difference for me to, um, you know, be worth $105. So we'll see today. So be below 50, whatever that is, motion accuracy against inevitable uncertainties. Not sure what that really means. The larger the print, the more pronounced the accuracy. So I think I have a way we can check accuracy. Notice it says accuracy and um, not quality on larger print, but achieve injection molded light level quality. Five minute calibration for week long accuracy. So all of that sounds good. Um, but what I don't see on here really is I guess maybe they have a video, but a side-by-side -side of a before and after of how it improved print quality or something like that. Because for $105, we should be able to um, do that. I haven't watched this video yet. Let's yeah, so, and it's not, it's just showing the quality, but it's not showing like a before and after. And that's a cool little gearbox assembly there and everything. Um, but, you know, it's not like the quality of any of the bamboo printers is bad per se. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what this does. So we'll run a couple of tests. Let's do some before prints and then um, we'll do the vision encoder uh, calibration and then we'll do those same prints after. Um, so I'll meet you in Bamboo Studio. All right, here we are in Bamboo Studio with our favorite model, the Nimitz Benchy. Um, we will go ahead and print a brand new one of these um, so that we can compare with another one after we run the vision encoder test. So let's go ahead and slice the plate. And it looks like an hour and 19 minutes. So I'll see you guys when it gets done. All right, so we did get it printed, nothing out of the ordinary. I'll put that to the side. Um, once we do the vision encoder test, we'll print another one directly from the same project and everything. And then I will take a picture of them with my camera so we can zoom way in and see the difference all the way down to the layers. So now let's try the other test, what I think might help us um, with precision or whatever, or whatever they were saying with precision. And really what I think the vision encoder is doing is just a better, in my opinion, a better uh, bed leveling. The bed, you know, goes and it touches in a, a couple of points and it maps that out so it kind of makes an uneven surface um, level. And it looks like it's using the vision encoder and all of those different colors and lines and everything um, just to map the bed a lot more. And maybe that's where they're getting the precision and all of that stuff from. Um, so let's test the precision and all of that, um, you know, 
without doing the vision encoder and then with doing it as well. So we'll add a little square or, you know, a bunch of squares in here that we can do. And then we'll put the calipers on there and see how accurate and um, precise they are since it said it added to precision. And since it um, said it over large prints, I'm thinking over large distances, it would be interesting to see if there's any kind of variance and things like that. So let's go ahead and add a primitive and we'll add a cube. And then we'll go ahead and scale the cube and we won't do it uniform. Uncheck that. That's just for this particular example. So we'll do 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters by five millimeters tall. So now we have this little square that we can use. So now let's make um, five more of them. And now let's set these around the plate and maybe we'll clone three more and let's kind of get these close to the edges of the plate And then now we can see with the calipers, I'll put the calipers um, both ways on this one and then we'll print it again after the uh, calibration and to see how close or how far off each of these are. So I'll go ahead and get these printed out and I'll see you when they get done. All right, we have the vision plate loaded in the H2D and my camera does not like it at all. So let me go ahead and get it set up and show you how we use it to calibrate. All right, so once you have the plate loaded, we go down here to the little gear, to calibration, and we wanna do the motion accuracy calibration. And it says to a vision encoder needs to be placed on the heat bed. Um, do not place any objects on the heat bed and remove it before printing anything with it. So we'll go ahead and hit start. And let it do its thing. All right, so the calibration is complete and I put the textured PEI plate back in there. So let's go ahead and print the Benchy again and see if it looks like it's been injection molded. All right, so here we are back in Bamboo Studio and we'll go ahead and print the squares and then I'll snap a picture of the benches so we can zoom in and see if there's any differences in the quality of them. And then once these are done printing, um, I will measure these and see if there's any noticeable difference in the accuracy or the precision across the build plate here. So let me get these printed and I'll see you when I get done. All right, so here we are with the two benches and um, we'll go through a couple pictures here. Is the one on the left or the one on the right, the one that I did after the calibration with the vision encoder? Somebody highlight the $105 difference. Okay, next picture, is it the one on the left or the right? And some people said that on the top of the benchy they were able to tell the difference. So can you tell me which one is vision calibrated and which one is not? And from those four pictures, can anybody highlight the $105 difference? Because I sure can't. 
Uh, to save the suspense, this is the one that I printed after we did the calibration with the vision encoder. This is the one that was done prior, the control. I've seen a few people say they saw a difference in the top of the bin sheet. I'm not seeing a difference there. If you see a difference there that I'm just not seeing, leave a comment below. But I don't really see the difference here. And I'm honestly not seeing injection like injection mold like quality or whatever i don't really see any quality difference uh, between the two so now let's go test um, accuracy and precision and i'll go measure all the little squares and uh, put those in a little chart for us all right so here we are with all of the squares and all of the measurements with the calipers that I did. And if you just look at this, it's just a kind of a lot of numbers and there's not quite a lot of um, detail here, if you ask me. Um, you know, 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter by five millimeter. I'm guessing that after it cooled down, it shrunk a little bit and we're seeing some of that. So I thought it'd be interesting to use AI to kind of analyze this and to see what the results are. So I fed this table into chat GPT. So let's see what it has to say. All right, so here we are in chat GPT and I went ahead and plugged in this table. It says, I have a 3D printer that has a vision encoder calibration plate that is supposed to increase accuracy. I placed nine 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter by five millimeter squares across the build plate and did a before and after print. I measured each square on the X, Y, and Z axis with calipers and entered the measures, measurements in Excel below. Is there a difference in accuracy? So here's what it says. On the X axis, the mean absolute error slightly increased from 0.1511 to 0.1589 after calibration. On the Y axis, the <laughs> mean absolute error increased more significantly from 0 0.0667 to 0 0.1700. Z axis, the error remained consistent, centered around five millimeters. So no meaningful difference was observed. Conclusion on these results, the calibration with the vision encoder did not improve overall accuracy. It may have slightly degraded it on the X and Y axis. If anything, it suggests the calibration procedure might need review or the encoder uh, might require additional fine tuning. Um, so by simply running the calibration, I wasn't able to find anything uh, discernible with the visual appearance of two things that I printed before and after, nor was I able to find any discernible difference in accuracy um, or precision or whatever across the plate. Um, and as it suggests here, uh, it may have slightly um, degraded, but I would keep that with, I think all of this is within a margin of error of me measuring these things. Like, honestly, we're in a hundredth of a millimeter. That's super duper tiny. Um, and if that's the difference in it, really, is that a worth $100? I'm not sure it is. Leave in the comments if you just absolutely think that this thing is the cat's meow. But I would recommend saving your money and buying a, more rolls of filament or um, something else. I wouldn't recommend the Vision encoder plate at all. I'm not seeing what it does to your prints. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so I can buy more <laughs> vision encoder plates. <laughs> uh, but I uh, hope to see you in the future. Be sure to join our live stream and I'll catch you on next week's video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.